Now for more on Mexico's economy, we're joined by Manuel Suarez Mia. He's a Latin America economy consultant and former chief of staff of the governor of the Bank of Mexico. So let's start with the renegotiation of NAFTA. Just how much is that impacting the Mexican economy right now? Well, the impact is being felt in uncertainty. Um, to the extent that uh, there is uncertainty in the negotiations and uncertainty in terms of uh, will we ever get to uh, a proper agreement on the terms of the renegotiation, uh, that creates uh, uh, a situation in which uh, um, economic agents are very reluctant to invest, and uh, that's bad for the economy. And we're certainly seeing that analysts from Morgan Stanley are looking at some of that uncertainty, and they're actually suggesting that Brazil will fly past Mexico as a safe bet when it comes to growth in 2018, especially because of Mexico's reliance on the U.S. export market. What's your take on that? Uh, I, I doubt it. Uh, if you look at uh, the shape of the Brazilian economy, it's in very bad shape, much worse than the Mexican economy. Uh, and I don't think they, they will resume positive uh, uh, economic growth anytime soon. Uh, and they still have uh, lots of serious structural problems to deal with. Uh, on the other hand, Mexico has passed a series of important reforms that should help uh, the economy get on a better footing and faster growth as soon as uncertainty is dispelled one way or another. And turning to growth, what do you see as the main growth drivers for Mexico going forward? Well, uh, it has to be uh, continue to be the international market, albeit perhaps not the U.S. Uh, we, we have a strong trade dependency with the U.S. 80% of Mexico's exports go to the U.S. And this uh, has been very difficult to change. This has been a factor that has been uh, uh, like a, an iron rule for many years. Uh, <clears throat> so we have to diversify markets to move more to export and import from other countries. Uh, and we have to make sure that the domestic market is behaving well. Uh, it has been growing at, at a fairly fast rate, relatively speaking. Uh, but those are the main source, sources of future growth. Now let's also look at this other trade relationships that Mexico is building on, especially when it comes to China and the EU. What are your expectations there? Well, in the case of China, uh, what make, made Mexico very different from other countries in Latin America uh, that was that we were competing in the American market. We were not providing, supplying uh, raw materials to China. And so we missed the big boom of other Latin American countries. Now that the prices of raw materials are uh, going down, that's what caused the bust in Brazil and other countries. And Mexico was unaffected. What we have to figure out is the complementarity of the Mexican and Chinese economies. And I foresee a strong incentive to bring investors from China, particularly in infrastructure. We had a couple of bad uh, headaches on, on that regard, but I think those can be ironed out and we can get going with uh, important investments from China in infrastructure and in other areas, uh, including the uh, automotive industry. And Manuel, in the case of, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, was, I, I, would I was like. I would, going to... I would like to get to the, the 2018 election. We are we are running short on time. Yes. Um, as we look ahead, how big of a factor do you think the economy will be, as opposed to other things? We know that the the murder rate in Mexico has reached a record high. What's on the minds of voters? You think for this 2018 election? It's a very complicated uh, scenario. Yes, violence has been going up. And uh, the government seems uh, to be unable to do anything productive about that. Uh, that's going to be a factor. Uh, and the other factor is going to be the personalities of the, of the main candidates. This might be the, the first uh, Mexican election ever in which we have uh, four, five, or six candidates, because now you can have independent candidates. Now, it's crucial that uh, the serious candidates outline a serious platform. And uh, I think so far we have only one candidate that, that promises to do that. Uh, we have a, a, a seriously deranged demagogue in the campaign trail that now is leading the polls, as he did six years ago and 12 years ago, but that will change. And we have an inexperienced candidate from the center 
uh, right and supported by the left, which is very confusing. Uh, so uh, the economy is going to count uh, expectations and what the candidates' uh, platforms are is going to be crucial. All right, thank you so much for your insights. Manuel Suarez Mia, former chief of staff of the governor of the Bank of Mexico.